Hi, this is Vanessa Joy here with Breathe Your Passion on Adorama TV, and today we're going to talk about how to get published in a magazine. So I am here with Steve Sender from Sophisticated Weddings Magazine here in New York City. And you can see all the fun happening behind us. We're actually in the middle of a styled shoot. So Steve, hi, how are you? Hi, thank you for being here. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you for talking to us about this. Sure. One of the things with photographers, you know, we love the idea of getting published and we want to, whether it's online or a magazine. And it can be so daunting to compete with the hundreds, thousands of other weddings that are trying to do the same thing. So I was hoping you could give us a tip or two. Well, there's lots of tips. The first thing is, it's actually easier now than ever before to get published. Okay. Um, there is a misconception that print is dying. Mm -hmm. That is not quite the case. There's just more competition for print with internet. Yes. Um, but because there's a general overall feeling that print is dying, the publications are spending less. So fewer of them have staff photographers anymore. Okay. Which means the photographers like you and everybody else who are out there. We have a better uh, chance. You have a lot of openings. All right. Uh, next, with most magazines, excluding ours, <laughs> um, there is a frightening lack of creativity. Okay. But that also is good for the photographer. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is the photographer who takes the initiative to build the story his or herself mm -hmm. is more likely to get published. It's gone are the days of here is my beautiful photo, what are you gonna do with it? You have right. to build the whole package for the right. publication and you're much more likely to get published, especially uh, online publishing with a blog. Yeah. Well, and you're talking the whole package, like vendors telling the, the wedding story, yeah. the story of the couple, it's, exactly. a, lot, it's a lot more research, yeah. a lot more work for us now. Well, everything has a hook. Yes. Um, not every wedding is the same. Mm -hmm. um, pick the time of year. I mean, certain weddings will relate to certain seasons or holidays or things that are happening. Mm -hmm. uh, so there, there's lots of different things you can do. Well, talk to me about relationships because if there aren't staff photographers anymore, then it's also our job to build relationships with yeah. magazines, with vendors. Um, yeah. Talk to me about what it's like when you get a beautiful wedding that's gorgeous, but you don't necessarily want to publish it because maybe there's a bad relationship in there. Um, there's a million reasons not to publish a, a beautiful wedding. Um, sometimes it is a bad relationship, so photographers behave yourselves. Um, don't graze at the buffet during cocktail hour. Uh, yeah, um, it's a small circuit. Everybody mm -hmm. knows everybody. Um, and everybody. and we're saying that in New York City, in where New there's York so City. many of us, yeah. but still, everyone knows everyone. No, absolutely, and everybody talks, mm -hmm. and uh, you want to be nice. Um, one of the things that some photographers are terrible at is sharing their photos. Yes. So if a floral designer or a dress shop or a planner contacts you during the week after the wedding and says, do you have any photos we could see yet? Mm -hmm. I know everybody's busy, especially during the busy seasons, but be as courteous as possible. Right. Say, you're going to love what you see when you see them. I'll get to them to you as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And then in terms of going back to getting them published, never put your watermark or your logo in the file embedded. Yes, because then it's extra work to either get yeah. new files or crop it out yeah. or all And that. if it's a busy magazine that gets a lot of submissions, they're not going to bother to ask you for a file without an embedded uh, watermark or, right. or logo. They're just going to discard it. Yeah, because the next one is easier and just as beautiful and it will attract just as many brides to right. their magazine or blog. Yeah, but then back to the, the vendors and the word of mouth and playing nice, share your <laughs> photos. Yeah. Um, I, I know you want credit for your art and, mm -hmm. and all photographers should get exactly that and sometimes your photos are going to be posted on social media and you won't be tagged and it's frustrating Yes. but <laughs> it's the nature of the beast. It is. Um, well yeah. tell us what we can do maybe to end this. How can we build good relationships with maybe blogs, magazines or even other vendors? Um, do your research. If you start looking at the popular um, blogs and online magazines and magazines, you'll notice that a lot of vendors get used over and over again. Right. Um, so for instance, you can see in the background, the floral designer we're working with today, um, uh, Diana Gould, LTD, she gets published a lot mm -hmm. and with good reason. So get her email address and introduce yourself. <laughs> yes, The cake nice. behind us mm -hmm. is by Ron Ben Israel, probably the most um, recognized and sought after cake artist in the country because he has a TV series. Mm -hmm. uh, offer to come to Ron's studio and shoot him with cakes. There he, you go. He loves having his picture taken. <laughs> um, yeah, and then you'll start to see... Uh, so find ways yeah. to serve your fellow vendors and build relationships. I and love good it. Karma. 
and good <laughs> karma, yes, all comes around. Thank you so much for taking the time Not to do this. In the pleasure. middle of this busy shoot, we're going to get shooting, but make sure that you hit that subscribe button down on the bottom so you don't miss a thing, and I will see you next time here on Adorama TV.